Do you know what? You should be a relationship <laughs> therapist. I actually should. It's busy <laughs> now. I don't... My friends all have boyfriends and I'm still single. They're always busy now and don't make much time for me. What do I do? Oh, oh I love what do I do? So I'm struggling here. If you make that effort for a few months and they're not making no effort back with you, I think you need to reevaluate your friendship. You can come and be our friend. Yeah, I was going to say, babe, <laughs> DM me. Let's, let's do something. Well, My is... supposed best friends always make plans without me. What do I do? Why am I going to keep sitting here being mug? No. The people that want to be in my life will be in my life yeah, exactly. and show me they want to be in my life. If you don't yeah. show me, there's a door. Yeah. There's a door. No, there's a train door. Life is quite hard growing up, I think, with boyfriends and friends. Hi, girlfriends. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm with my owl. <laughs> Lighting's horrible. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bit bright. I'm with my mum. Um, I'm going to put that down because I actually can't see a thing. But now can they see me? Not really. The lighting <laughs> is so bad. We're going to stop Shocking. in a minute, but basically we're running out of time um, before we need to get Emily, so we need to film this ASAP. The lighting's so bad, but I don't know if I can cope with that. That is so bad. Turn left. I'm hoping it's not as bad as it looks on the camera. Mm. Uh, but anyway, today we're going to do a little... <laughs> We weren't oh, meant to be there. doing a drive with me, but we're basically doing drive with me right now and a girl talk. So I've got some questions that we're just going to go through and answer. You ready, Mum? I'm ready. Let's do it. This one's oh. more for me than you because you don't really wear this. But how do I stop fake tan going patchy? Ooh. You might know though. Good question. No. I'm actually allergic to uh, fake tan, so I have not got a clue. Mum's allergic to fake tan, so she's not really helpful in this conversation. Is that more I personally so patchy, I would say, from my knowledge Go of on. having three, oh excuse me, three <laughs> girls, <laughs> three girls, I would say exfoliate first in the shower, yep. the bath, whatever. All Make over. sure you have none on before, like try to scrub off any, yeah, anything always left. Yeah, obviously it'll just go over that, so it'll be patchy. Yeah. And then moisturise everywhere, so you've got nice smooth skin to yep. put on, and then fake tan. And at like, the roundabout, take the second exit. Shush! On every turn left on <laughs> Every time you shower, like after that, you fake tan. Just make sure you moisturise because it prolongs your tan. Dad, now is not the time. <laughs> the oh my time? god, this video is a fail. <laughs> Dad has absolutely locked himself out, so he had a, vill a village, a valid reason to call us. So we forgive him. Anyway, so yeah, that is the how to stop fake tan going back to. Next one. What do I do if he like? A boy she's seeing is treating me like a girlfriend. him! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> is that him? What was is it? treating me like a girlfriend but refuses to make it official. Ooh. I feel like this is quite common in do yeah. this day and age, isn't it? Oh, well, like mum and dad. Mum and dad don't get I don't know if anyone else's parents don't get this, but my parents don't understand like all boys, the stages. They don't get the stage, they don't get the talking stage, they don't get the seeing stage. They think if I am speaking to a boy, he's my boyfriend, but it's just not the case. No, I, no, I think there is a seeing stage and then a dating stage, but... No, I think the first stage is like talking, dating, and then you're seeing each other, then you're exclusive, and then you're together. I don't like the exclusive stage, I think you don't really need an exclusive stage, do you? Well, you need it to be exclusive. <laughs> oh, yeah, but you can just be girlfriend and boy. Like, it's exactly the same. Why are you not just putting a label on it? Yeah. Like, if you don't want me to see somebody and I don't want you to see somebody else, why are we not together? I don't get it. So personally, I just think if he's doing that and you're getting mixed signals from him, you should probably take it as a no because otherwise you're going to learn the hard way, I think. Do you know what? Just do the same to him. Start speaking to other people because that's clearly what he's doing. Well, yeah, I think you need to have the conversation like where you're at. Mm. If he can't commit. If he, and say, like, do you think this is going to go anywhere? Are we ever going to be official? Because if we're not, not wasting my time. Like, you need to actually put your foot down a little bit and, like, I don't know. Find out how he feels because yeah, maybe not, maybe not, you're not on the same page. Maybe you like him more than he likes you. It He's also playing depends, the field a bit. Though, you depends don't know. how long they've been together. If they've yeah. been together for I don't know two weeks, then maybe give him a bit longer. I think I think. But if, if, if you're if going it, to like five six months and they're not making your girl, yeah, making then you that's their girlfriend, a bit of a red flag for me. I think I think even like four months to be honest. Also, but maybe I just move fast. <laughs> I don't normally drive a geared car. My car's oh, automatic. And, all right, don't don't have to say it. Um, <laughs> I'll just mute that. Um, yeah, so I think, like, have a conversation with him. Don't dump him straight away, like Mum said, but just. No, I was joking. I, said that. I didn't even know what she was going to say. See what he feels. Like, try and have a conversation about it. See what he says. 
if his words don't act, like say he's like yeah I see it becoming official in the next few months and then it doesn't happen then you know it's just wasted your time so mm. yeah it's a hard one isn't it I feel like it is so common though like, a lot of my friends are in that it's because they, they all speak to other people that's why and yeah, they just, they just want their, who's the, the cake person. and eat it yeah. They just want to have 10 things on the go, like little rats. They want 10 cakes. Men are trash. Them. <laughs> <laughs> men are trash. Not just men are trash. Some men are. Some men are. Yeah, some men are. <laughs> okay, first kiss story. Mum, oh, I'm going to relate to mum here because she said in Amelie's video that she doesn't remember it. In and I don't remember mine either. Mine wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> I mean, it's what not like 10 minutes you? ago. Your memory. memory. My memory is absolutely shocking. I feel like anything from before I was like 17, I don't remember it, like eight. Oh, careful. That's all right. Whoa, he was coming a bit fun. Yeah, he was. was. Uh, I thought he was about to crash. I've seen him, so he's all right. Um, yeah, I actually can't remember it at all. I don't even remember it. It was with my boyfriend. Not my boyfriend now, but my boyfriend. Oh, before. I see. I thought you meant first one with the new boyfriend. Oh, no, not new oh. boyfriend. Oh, are we allowed to talk about the new boyfriend? <laughs> we are, yeah. Oh, we are, okay. So, they, do they know about the new boyfriend? Yeah. If they've seen my video last week, they'll know about the new boyfriend. Oh, um, yeah, do they know? But and if you haven't, you better go back and watch it. Yeah, go watch my assumptions because you can find out all the juicy goss. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Um, is, it just up here on the is it just up here on the right? Yes, yes, right? yes, yes. Just pull in anyway. Uh, did she know? I thought it'd be quiet. There is nowhere. Basically, we're about to pick Amelie up, and the That's hairdresser's is right there, but she. Mum can't park, okay. Well, it's not up. This, you'd get in that. I probably would, but I'm scared to curb it. I'll go up a bit further, we'll just park somewhere else, fine. We'll just drive down where she's done. There's never, ever, ever any space. I found one last time. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, I'll... first kiss story. Don't have a clue. Mum doesn't have a clue. I literally couldn't tell. It was with my first boyfriend. That was that. Nothing interesting there. Yeah, no, I thought you meant with the. Um... Well, I've got a new boyfriend, but that's not your first kiss, is it? I thought you meant the first kiss. Well, oh, unless it is your first oh, kiss. Oh, okay. So when <laughs> when Amelie asked for mine, she was asking about a previous boyfriend. I thought she was asking about Dad. I really don't have a clue then, because that was ages ago. No, of course. <laughs> first kiss is like your first ever kiss. I thought she meant with not Dad. With, no, because Dad wouldn't have been your first kiss. Can you look? Can you look? That's your boring. <laughs> <laughs> you can fit in that door 100%. That's like yeah, a tank. Yeah, can, and it's perfect tank. space, really. If that car had moved up there, I could have tank could there. fit in this. I could even do it, and I'm terrible at parallel. I don't want to do parallel. I've been driving five years, and I can't parallel park, and I'm not ashamed to say it. <laughs> no, oh, I can't. I've got to show someone you a TikTok. Me. I was watching a man do a TikTok the other night. I thought that is ideal. What how to parallel park? Yeah. Oh, he's like, babe, send it me. Hey, yeah, I need auto. it. Oh, quick one: pads or tampons? Ah. Uh, uh, Mum, you're a pads girl. Don't even pretend you're not. Yeah, pads now. Mum literally, mum made me well. have a fear of tampons for years. No, I did not. You did. I did not. I literally used to go swimming and didn't wear a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you didn't want to. I did. Well, no, I, you didn't want you to. You scared me. How did I scare you? you? My old friend. Oh, mum, do you remember this? This is a massive memory of mine. <laughs> I'm going to bait her out. I'm going to bleep her name because I feel bad if she, she doesn't want to watch it, but I feel bad. She's not my friend. Then. Well, we're not not friends, but I just don't speak to her anymore. Um, one of my best friends from when I was like 11, she came on her period on the day of a gala and we was away from our, our like home swimming pool. I don't know where we were. Might have even been Braintree. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember this? Uh, she came no, on that morning. On. Her mum was like crying. Like she was, her mum was quite a worried, like anxious woman, weren't she? She was really crying and then mum was making her like put a tampon in. She was like, this is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I'm never doing that. Yeah. I hadn't started at the time, but like, I was like, I'm never doing it's that. It's pretty traumatic for the first time. I've oh my God. But yeah, I never stopped you. I wanted you to, so you could swim, because otherwise you used to miss training if you was no, on I your did period. Do. I did. I just didn't wear anything, because your period stopped in yeah. order. But, you um, but like, oh God, I would I say I'm a, I'm a pad scale. I just think they're easier. Like, yeah, I can't be bothered to keep changing it every time I pee. But I think tampons <laughs> are a lot dis more discreet. And but a lot, someone told us the other week, hygienic. didn't they? Um, oh, to the use cups. period cups. And I've never even heard, well, I've heard of it, but I've never mm. thought, Give that a go. The first time well, I, I see should. those was a Let me know. thing. They have them in the toilets. Yeah, I pretty up in HQ. Let me know down below if you try a period cup because we're intrigued. Yeah, and if it's actually good, say they're amazing. But I just can't imagine that. Isn't it a bit gross? Like pulling it out and just yeah, pouring your blood. I, know. I mean, it's I no just, how much all of it's disgusting, get? really, yeah, if you yeah. think about it. But like, it's not disgusting. Oh, who's this? He's with us. <laughs> Where's Hugo? Yeah, so he's going for a walk on the high and the high street. He's going for a walk. Sorry. Obviously on both sides of it. Have you ever had doubts in your relationship slash marriage 
or previous relationships from both of us. How do you get over it? Have you had doubts in your marriage? Yeah, a couple of times. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite awkward, isn't it? <laughs> um, sorry, Dad. <laughs> yeah, a couple of times I've had doubts. Only so because, normal. like, say, the way he speaks to me or sometimes you get taken for granted, that kind of stuff, or he's rude or... Yeah. So it's normal? So it's just normal, yeah. So you just... Yeah, I mean, those sort of things are normal. You know, nothing else has happened, thankfully. What about previous relationships? All that I know about. Previous I mean, if you could get through them, you would have probably got stayed with them, so... Obviously mm, not. Probably not. <laughs> The wrong type of people, really. They work to do. I feel like you've got some past trauma that you don't, you've never told me because from past your video trauma. with Emily, I was like, hmm. What did I say in that? Hmm, sus. Don't know. No, one of them was there. Oh, that looks nice there. The best 12 inch of your life. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> best 12 inch pizza of your life. <laughs> Mum! Decline it. What now? Hey, Dad interrupts one more time. You're declining it. That's that. Um, I think I think it's normal to have doubts, but it depends what the doubts are. Yeah. Yeah. It depends how deep the doubts are as well. Mm. And if it's like an ongoing doubt, like if it's a doubt that like you have a bit of a doubt for a week, you're like, oh, I'm not sure, and then the next week's fine and you're back to normal. Then I think oh, it's just a little blip in the road. But well, when you've been together for quite a long time, you can have lots yeah. of little blips in the road. Yeah, but I think doubts come before like a lot of that stuff, don't they? Well, some of this is just doubts. Like, because I think before you get married, you're gonna have more. The doubts are gonna feel yeah. bigger yeah. because yeah. you're. Yeah, you shouldn't. If have you're married, you're gonna you're together. gonna have more reason to work through it, and like kids yeah. and stuff. I think personally, but I think before, if you're having doubts a lot, then it's obviously probably more detrimental for it to end. Detrimental to your relationship, but it will probably end. That's what I mean. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> that dog's trying to eat the plastic. It's a staffy. Oh, <laughs> she's she's been taken. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think how do you how do you get over it? I think just depends on the doubt. And yeah, it depends what it give is. Give yourself really. time. If it's a big thing, like make sure you communicate. Unless it. they're just doubting whether she wants to be with that person, or he, or he wants to be with that person. I don't know. It just depends. It just depends on the situation. Yeah, depends on what you're doubting. Isn't it? Um, um, do you think you can work mm. through a partner cheating? God, that's a hard one. I'd like to say no. Personally, for me, mm -hmm. no. I'd like to say no. I I've think never had I, it done, but I'd like to say no. I personally think it will affect me so much, regardless if they apologise. I don't think I could mentally get over it. Mm. I couldn't, Actually, I couldn't it did commit myself. To me. It did happen to me when I was younger. Life. Yeah, same, but no. Yeah, when I was younger. Never again. Yeah, and he cheated on me with my best friend, which was... Oh. Yeah. It's nice. familiar. It's nice. Yeah, nice. Nice. Right. Hey, what friend? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you say if I got a friend? What friend? <laughs> oh, should I say? I would I believe you. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Did she know you was with him? Yeah. I don't like her anymore. You used to say she was nice. Yeah. You still do. Do you know what? If I ever see you again. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I wouldn't actually do that. I would. Uh, For you, Mum. Uh, um. I don't. I think cheating is bottom tier. If you cheat on somebody, it shows a lack of respect. Mm -hmm. You're going to cause a lack of trust. There's something wrong deeper than that because you don't cheat if you're happy. I don't think. Mm -hmm. And I think if you really love somebody, you would never put yourself in a position to lose them, yep. and 100%. you wouldn't need to see anyone else or speet to anyone else or mm -hmm. meet anyone else. So, personally, for me, my boyfriend cheats me. He's getting his balls chopped off, <laughs> <laughs> and he knows it. <laughs> And I hope Dad does too, because I'll chop his off for you, Mum, don't worry. So, do you think yes or no? Can you get through it? Um, I'd say no. I think, again, it's situational. If I was married, I had three kids. Yeah, you've got to think whether it's actually worth throwing away that, yeah, that it's relationship. Yeah, a big thing, but then I still just think, with your children. mentally, keeping myself in that, yeah, I, I don't think I, think I could. could at all. No, no, not for me. Not again. Uh, my boyfriend stopped planning dates, never wants to do anything with me. I think as in, like going out wise what do i do Ooh. I like this is quite common people get comfortable don't they and then they just maybe you've got to um suggest a few things 
you've got to relight the if spark. He, if, yeah, if he's not actually it. sort of making an effort, then you've got to sort of make that extra effort for a little while and just say, come on, let's do this together, this will be fun. Yeah, but he's, she's saying they don't. he doesn't want to do anything. She's asking him. But you've got to tell him this is getting boring. I want to I do things, I want to go I think that's a out. big thing for me. Like, I think if you've somebody... just got to communicate. I think communication is the biggest thing in a relationship. I don't think, I don't think you have to go on like, loads and loads of dates, you but you need loads to... loads and loads of money, but you no. need to do things. Even if you just go, go for to a, a friend's or... You go to like another couple's house or something. Like, for the I just like going for a walk. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Like something Keep out of the house, yeah. doing something together, one on one. Boring, yeah, yeah, I agree. I think you've got to keep the spark alive. That's the try. That's the saying I was trying to think of a minute ago. It's the saying you're trying to relight the spark. <laughs> you've got to keep the spark alive. That's what I meant. Yeah. I think maybe make a little. Yeah, as much. You know what? You should be a relationship a therapist. I actually should. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think yeah. You're good at it? Yeah, yeah, quite good at it. I think I should be a therapist. I think I'd be a sick. Therapist. She's quite good with her friends with. Um, I feel like I've been through 100 million relationships and I've only been in that one. <laughs> two. It's because your friends two. are in lots of very traumatic <laughs> relationships. And, oh Literally, I've had, I've, I actually think they should pay me because I actually am good at it at this point. Um, <laughs> but again, they don't take any notes of you anyway. No, they don't listen They still go back for like 15th, 20th time. <laughs> Literally, mugs. And I tell them they're mugs. Don't worry. I'm not mugs. They are mugs. I just need I, to know their worth and that know that yeah. they're worth more than what that person was. I, I'm of. very um, honest. I won't mm. hold back. Like, if I think my friend's being an idiot, I will tell her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or him. Mm. But it's mainly the girls who are the idiots. My friends, aren't they? Mm. Um, in a nice way, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> For, oh, my friends all have boyfriends and I'm still single. They're always busy oh, now and me. don't... <laughs> <laughs> Shush. My friends all have boyfriends and I'm still single. They're always busy now and don't make much time for me. What do I do? Oh, that's I love hard. what do I do? So I'm struggling here. Eh? Yeah, your rela relationship therapist. I feel therapist, like I'm actually relationship is. therapist at this point. Uh, oh, it's hard. Can you make new f It's hard to make new friends though at certain ages, isn't it? I think it's a normal thing when people get into relationships. It's normal that they spend time with their boyfriends, but they also need to remember who's been with them. Yeah, way before because also that, when that relationship, forget, if that relationship ends, who are you going to see? Then who are you going to see then? Exactly, because then your be friends back. may have moved on. Or you might be in a relationship and then you'll be like, no, no you can jog on babe just because you're single I now. I think boyfriends are easier to find than friends as well. I Yeah, I to be fair though, I've made loads of friends in the last few years. I don't mm, feel like I've stopped mm, making friends. Mm. I've made good friends. <clears> like, <throat> I'll happily just go, friends, I'll to be happily honest. go for dinner with anyone. Like I've, I'm quite open. Like, if someone DMs yeah, me, like, oh, friends. do you want to go out? I'll do you know go. what I love about some of your friends? And Lily's one of them. Shout out to Lily. She will introduce you to all her friends. You do the same. Yeah. And she will introduce you to all her friends and she will encourage you to go out with all of them. She doesn't gatekeep you. No. And I find a lot of girls nowadays gatekeep their friends. Yeah. I find it with Emily and I find it with you. Where they have other friends, even the ones that you know, and yet they keep you away from them kind of thing. Mm. Even though you know them. So it's not awkward. Yeah. I find, yeah, I don't like that with friends because I think... Yeah, it's just not fair. She shares her friends with you, so why don't you share your yeah. friends with her? Literally. I don't know why people like do people that. get really protective of certain friends and like. It's, it's nice to be. Them. It's nice to be in a big group as well. It's just nice for all your friends to get on. Like, yeah. At my birthday last year, everyone, no one knew each other really, did mm, they? I had no. so many different groups. Mm. I mixed probably about four or five different groups of friends, and everyone, mm. literally, everyone was fine. Everyone loved each other. It was mm. great. Yeah. But no, personally, I just don't. The really parties different, aren't they? Because parties, you, you've got to do that, really. But I'm gonna yeah. go just for night out, even with your birthday. Or are you talking about your birthday? Well, this birthday, yeah, sorry, well, yeah, yeah, but I was yeah. talking about last year, yeah. really, because it was a lot of people then. Mm. Well, not a lot, but like more. Because I just think the more the better, the more the merrier. We've gone off topic, man. My friends have boyfriends. She's single. Yeah, You're it's probably hard. gonna find it's a boyfriend hard. soon. I've always been that single. But friend, do you know what? I really? She probably still wants her friends though, even if she does find a boyfriend. But. I think, I don't know. I think maybe try it and see if you can find some other friends to do things with. Or just like make sure you like, because then get your things friends. built in with your friends because, mm. I don't know, boyfriends and girlfriends normally have convenience. Like they just see each other in the evenings or whatever, like if they're in a normal relationship mm. like me. But I mean, I don't know, I think you just need to keep things like book something in. Be like, oh, what day are you free next month? Let's book something. Like yeah, just make yeah. that effort and then. If you make that effort for a few months and they're not making no effort back with you, I think you need to reevaluate your friendship because they obviously don't really have the same like wanting to see you I as think you it's do quite them. Sad that girls just want to spend I think all a lot their time with their boyfriend and don't want to have their friends' time. And I, I do think it's so normal, though, so isn't it? 
I don't know. Yeah. And do you know what? My son will probably not be in a relationship forever. So they might be single in a few months. Mm. Might get a friend back. But regardless, they it's shouldn't be doing it to you. But it's good to have a bit of space apart. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's so healthy to like have a balance. You can come and be our friend. Yeah, I was going to say, babe, <laughs> DM me. Let's, let's do something. That my is. supposed best friends always make plans without me. What do I do? Oh, we kind of just spoke about that. Mm. So difficult because whenever you bring it up, they think you're just being argumentative. Yeah. And I feel like I've got to a point where, is it, where if I have to say it twice, I'm not going to say it. I won't well, maybe more than twice. twice. Maybe more than no. twice. No, 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 no. I don't mean go out if they leave me out twice. I'm saying oh. if I have to tell you twice, I'm not telling you again. Yeah. You don't respect me. You don't care about how I feel. You don't care about what I'm saying. Why am I going to keep sitting here being a mug? No. I, I always say to the girls, your life is like a journey. It's like a wow. train. I never said this here to we go. Yes, I have. <laughs> I've never said this to you. No. I've, said, I've said this to you a few times. Must have been Robin. So, really. life is like a journey. It's like a train. And on your way on that journey, people jump in, people jump You've off. You've never said this to me, but I like Haven't it. I? But I might have I? But I might have actually done it in a different way. I said it in a different way. But this is you said I a feel. bus. <laughs> no. I feel a long train journey is your life. People jump on and then you're friends for a certain time. And a lot of the time... Their destination comes, they're off. Yeah, and then they're off because maybe you've you know you're not needed by them anymore or you don't need them anymore and it's a shame when it ends and a, you know a lot of friendships do end and it is quite sad at the time but if they're not making the effort say yeah. see you later let them go let them off the destination because yeah it's, it's quite hurtful it hurts me I, sometimes I with some of your friends you'll when feel... you've treated them so lovely yeah and they can do that to you but i think personally you know what? they're lost You'll That's feel better losing them. You'll feel more relieved. You'll be like, mm. I'm not worried about this. I don't have to constantly feel like they don't want, they don't make an effort with me. Mm. I think you'll feel better doing that. They're trying to keep this friendship alive that's obviously one-sided. Mm. That's going to drain you way more than just getting rid of someone. 100%. Like, it will feel worse at the time when you're obviously yeah. like, yeah. once you don't speak to them for a few weeks, you're going to feel that, mm. you're going to feel that um, and I don't, I don't mean gap just, in your life. Yeah. But in like six months time, you'll be like, thank God I didn't waste my time yeah. begging for a friendship keep that trying. wasn't even yeah, there yeah, anymore. Keep trying. Trying to ask Especially if do you've been doing it for months, and... you'll probably be relieved to like see the back of it. Yeah. But I do think have the conversation, just be like, is there a reason you I think, I think... leave me out? But it does get awkward, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think after a while you've got to ask the question because rather than just drop the relationship straight away, yeah, do you and not just, just think say, girls can, like straight like, away girls will, will be it. on the defence and that's that. Mm, like mm. they will think you're attacking them when you're literally just trying to have a conversation and trying communicate to it out. one how you feel and two like trying to resolve it. Mm. Try, trying to tell them how you okay. feel. I'm just coming out there. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a hard one. Been there. Still, still. Happens. Yeah, still happens. Still happens. But to then, me. do you know what? You move on. You make new friends. Just forget them. And do you know what? A lot, of, a lot of a lot like recently because they'll realise. I know what you're going to say. A lot of them realise in the end. Do you know what? She was such a good friend, and they come back to you because quite a few of them have come back to yeah, you. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people from my past. Like I'm now. Some of them I did. It wasn't even about this sort of situation. Like we just grew apart because like situation and lives and stuff. Yeah, we moved away from the area. Yeah, and things yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. But like a lot of my old friendships are like rekindling at the minute, and mm. I'm not gonna lie. I said this in my last video as well. I'm like so content with everybody I've mm. got. I don't. Mm. If you're gonna play me around, I really don't care at this point. Like I will just cut you off. I don't really have. Mm. I don't have the energy for it, to be honest. I, I, the people that want to be in my life will be in my life. Yeah, exactly. And show me they want to be in my life. If you don't yeah. show me, there's Do a door. Yeah. There's a door. No, there's a train door. <laughs> there's a train door. <laughs> the destination's in. And then you'll carry on that journey with your other people. And people on will jump on. You. And yeah. you'll make new friends. Yeah. Just make sure you're open to it. Don't be like one of those girls that's just like always intimidating. Yeah. Be nice. And also, be nice. Do, you know, do you know what I love about some girls? When... When people say, one thing I don't like about some girls, when it's not I don't like, a lot of people do it. Oh, let's go out, let's go out. Even I do it. <laughs> so I can't that. even I say this. Well, but do you know what I do love? Is when a girl says, they say, oh, let's go out. And then that person says, yeah, come, let's book a date now. What, are you free next week? I'd rather someone do that. I because, heard that with Maddie, didn't I? Yeah, because otherwise, if you leave it and leave it and never sign it, no one ever sort of makes arrangements. So... You know, I'm not the greatest friend to be honest. So I think I run around. This, what's her name? Who? Hey. A little one. <laughs> I think that is all the questions that we have. We've blabbered on for quite yeah. a while there. 
Life is quite hard growing up, I think, with boyfriends and friends and girlfriends. But, um, you know, we'll get through it. I thought it was somebody famous. Hello? That's, that's a girl! That's a girl! I was like, hey! I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm jumping out. It's someone famous. Get me a picture, get them in the video. <laughs> That's so hey, funny. What? I'm literally thinking, who is that? Who is... Mate, if you just say it, they're walking uh, away. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> thinking, is it someone really like Sophia and Chintzy or something? I'm just I'm like... <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Um, moving on. Life is hard. Carry yeah, on. life is tough. You know, especially when you think you've got these really good friends and then they turn out not to be. Just don't it hold on hard. to things because you're forcing it. Like, don't don't bother, honestly. Don't force mm. anything. I think if people want to be in your life, you'll know they want to be in your life. If you don't know they want to be in your life, then they probably don't want to be there. So Did I send the quit making day? effort. Put your energy into people that reciprocate it. Mm. Bottom line, that is that. I think that is the end, though. Because we've got this together. I know. Cheers, that earlier. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and like. <laughs> and yeah, comment down oh, below up, it? who you want to see in a girl chat next. Other YouTubers, my sisters, whoever. Dad? You want to see? Oh, that's not girl chat. Yeah, but... we could do dad. It'd be quite entertaining, actually. It'd be quite funny to get dad in it. If you want to see my dad do one of these, we'll get a boy's perspective of life. I mean. Oh, God. Probably won't agree with it's anyway. It's quite boring, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yours aren't boring. Oh, I mean, I don't think you're boring. I thought I was a bit boring on Amelie's so one. Mum feels boring. It did really well, actually. Yeah. Mum thinks she's boring on her asking my mum uncomfortable questions. I think people just, like, it's refreshing to hear good things. Yeah, I mean. It's like, do you smoke? No. Do you? No drugs? No. no. Have you ever vaped? No. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, know, but I can't like... relate either, so I'm boring mm. too. Don't worry about it. Mm. Boring. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next, next video. video. Bye. Bye.